This week's story is about Bad Harry and my naughty little sister going to the library. And when I was little, when you went to the library, if you weren't very quiet, the adults would go shh at you and you would get a little bit scared and get quiet. So let's see what happens with Bad Harry and my naughty little sister at the library. My Naughty Little Sister and Bad Harry at the Library by Dorothy Edwards, illustrated by Shirley Hughes. Nowadays, libraries are very nice places where there are plenty of picture books for children to look at and a very nice person who will let you take some home to read so long as you promise not to tear them or scribble in them. When I was a little girl, we had a library in the town where we lived. Our mother used to go there once a week to get a book to read and when I was old enough, I used to go with her to get a book for myself. Our library wasn't as nice as the one nearest to your house. There wasn't a special children's part. The children's books were in a corner among the grown-up books and all the books had dark brown library covers, no nice bright picture covers. You had to look inside them to find out what the stories were about. Still, when I did look, I found some very good stories just as you do nowadays but we didn't have very nice people to give out the books. There was a cross old man with glasses who didn't like children very much. When we brought our book back, he would look through it very carefully to make sure we hadn't messed it up and grumble if he found a spot or a tear, even if it was nothing to do with us. And there was a lady who used to say, shh, 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 shh all the time and come and grumble if you held one book while you were looking at another one. She would say, all books to be returned to the shelves immediately. My little sister went to the library with us once, but she said she wouldn't come anymore because she didn't like the shushy lady and the glasses man. So after that, Mrs. Coco Jones minded her on library days. So. You can imagine how surprised we were one day when she said, I want to go to the library. Our mother said, but you don't like the library. You're always saying how nasty it is there. But my little sister said, yes, I do. I like it now. She said, I don't want to go with you though. I want to go with bad Harry's mother. What a surprise. Our mother said, Oh, I don't suppose Harry's mother wants to take you. It must be hard enough for her with Harry. But do you know, Harry's mother did want to take my sister. Bad Harry's mother said, please let her come with us. Harry has been worrying and worrying to ask you. So my mother said my little sister could go to the library with Bad Harry and his mother. But she said she thought she had better come along too. I don't trust those two bad children when they're together, our mother said. All the way to the library, those naughty children walked in front of their mothers, whispering and giggling together. And our mother said, I just hope they won't get up to mischief. But Harry's mother said, oh no, Harry is always as quiet as a mouse in the library. Bad Harry, quiet as a mouse, fancy that. And so he was, and so was my sister. They were both as quiet as two mice. When they got to the library, the man with glasses wasn't cross. He said, hello, Sonny, to Bad Harry, and that was a surprise. But of course, at that time, Harry still looked good. And then the shushing lady came along. She smiled at Harry and Harry smiled at her. And the lady looked at my naughty little sister and said, we don't mind good children like Harry coming here. My little sister was very surprised and so was my mother. But bad Harry's mother said, 
Harry is always good in the library. He goes and sits in the little book room in the corner and he doesn't make a sound until I'm ready to go. Harry's mother said, he looks at the books on the table and he is as good as gold. Of course, our mother was worried because she thought my sister couldn't be like that. But she let my sister go with Harry while she went to find herself a new book to read. And do you know, all the time our mother and Harry's mother were choosing books, those children were quiet as mice. And when our mother and Harry's mother were ready to go, there they were, sitting good as gold, looking at a book in the book room. When our mother got home, she said, I would never have believed it. Those children were like angels. So after that, my naughty little sister often went to the library with Bad Harry and his mother, and they were always quiet as mice. Then one day, Bad Harry's mother found out why. One day, when they were in the library, she found a book very quickly, and when she went along to the little book room, she had a great surprise. She couldn't see them anywhere. Then she looked again, and there they were, under the book table. They were lying very still on their tummies, staring at something, and as Harry's mother bent down to see what they were doing, a tiny mouse ran over the floor and into a hole in the wall. You see, the very first time Harry had visited the library, he had seen that little mouse, and afterwards, he always looked out for it. He used to take things for it to eat sometimes, pieces of cheese and bacon rind. The mouse had been Bad Harry's secret friend, and now it was my sister's secret friend, too. Harry's mother told our mother all about those funny children and the library mouse. She said, I suppose I ought to tell the librarian. But our mother said, I don't see why. That old man is always nibbling biscuits. He keeps them under the counter. He just encourages mice. I hadn't known about the biscuit nibbling, but the next time I went to get a book, I peeped, and Mother was right. There was a bag of biscuits under the cross man's counter and piles of biscuit crumbs. No wonder there was a library mouse, and no wonder it made friends with Bad Harry. The cheese and bacon bits must have been a great change from biscuit crumbs, mustn't they? I hope you enjoyed the story about Bad Harry and my naughty little sister finding and feeding a little mouse. When I was little, I loved trying to catch little creatures like butterflies and mice and earthworms. Anyway, make sure you subscribe and click the thumbs up 